Greetings, and welcome to another episode of Geeking Around Gaming. I am your local goat wizard, and today we are going to be hunting the Tattered Valhazak. Now, for those who have know, I am in the Valhazak armor. And, with it, I will sh show it no mercy. Well, with no further ado, let's get to the hunt. <clears throat> For those of you who might not know, the Valhazak is an elder dragon who who lives down deep in in the rotten vale it covers its body with rotten flesh and uses the effluvian as its ally now this one is a tempered one which doesn't mean it has higher attack well higher health or, or anything like that just means it's a lot, a lot stronger in the attack area. Now the scout flies are telling me to go that way to encounter it, but the fight never does start over there. We're here in a moment. We sh should see. Ah, there she is. Ooh, that mighty roar. Taking that ticking damage from from her fluvian, but also I'm constantly healing thanks to the the armor of the Valzak. So it kind of kind of counteracts it a little bit, but I'm st still hurts. cool part about the starting area for the Valhazak is that it does have two falling boulders that you can easily drop on her head and a lead ledge for you to to jump on her with. Now my biggest piece of advice when it comes to fighting the Valhazak when she does her beam attack absolutely not get hit by it. Because if you're injured, that's almost a guaranteed KO. Let's see if we can get her with the other boulder. Yes! Weapons I'm using are the are the Nergigante's dual blades, both for their dragon seal 
capability and the dragon damage they do. Which, if you get the dragon seal enough, you can actually dissipate the effluvium around it. Ah, and there goes that beam attack I was talking about. Oh! But Dragon Seal activated and stopped it. Ah, and actually, as you can see, it now does not have any of the Influvian gas around it. Oh. That could have been, been bad. Oh. Guess I should actually read. I would have noticed that was tainted flesh and not a footprint. She could have easily attacked me at that point. I will say, you'll see that I will actively be trying to avoid the, the water here. It's because down here, this deep in the rotten veil, this is not water. This is a form of acid, actually. Acid that does not feel good when you're in it. combo that acid with this thing's a Fluvian, then it is not fun at all. Whew! Broke something. Love to get that tail if I could. I will state, comparing this to my last video, Nasto is brand new into Monster. So I was not used to fighting him. So that's what gave me such a trouble in the first part of the video. But Valhazak, I've been able to fight her for a long time. So I've had quite a bit of practice with her. I know most her moves. And oh! And know how to deal with it too. Sadly, though, I missed the arc tempered Valhazak. But, oh well. I'm pretty sure she'll return sooner or later. Oh! You're limping! If you limp, you will die. 
Come here. Nope. Not allowed to go to sleep. Not allowed to go to sleep. Because if you go to sleep, I'll blow you up. She's using using the fuel fluvian and creatures around that are infected by it to try and gain some life back. Oh, that was kind of a cheap shot. But hey. Guess that's what happened. Happens when you're not able to get get up and heal. <laughs> but I was able to get feel feline insurance, which means I get a free faint. Now I'm not sure if she stayed in that area or she actually went further in and went to sleep. Oh, it's looking like she's heading to sleep. So, we get to blow her up. Now, the first time you do fight the Valhazak, you do encounter her here. But, after that, every fight she, she goes through the water and starts it in the other room. Now, let's see. Let's put a big old bomb right on your head. Now, what's the best way to do this? Mm. Balls to the wall, baby. Blow us both up. Hey. Might have been a little bit of a rude awakening. Membrane. Oh, and right before we actually kill her. Down she goes. Well, I hope you enjoyed that hunt. If you'd like to see more Monster Hunter, please comment down below and tell me what you'd love to see me hunt. And hey, I'm even planning on doing a collab video with a couple of buddies of mine at some point. <clears throat> now, let's, let's just wait for, for the timer to go up and see what I got for this hunt. None of the stream stones I need, but hey. Anything works, really. Ooh. Uh, oh, yeah, warp stone. Hey. Who knows, might actually get lucky and get something I need. Ah, uh, no. Eh, that might be able to help whenever I try using the bow.
And hey, a hunter rank up. I call that a victory. Okay. Well, I say that's enough for, for this video. So, please like, comment, and subscribe if you if you like what you saw. And hey, I'll see you next time on Geeking Around Gaming. See ya.